वेलकम बैक टू दिस इंग्लिश गुरु एंड दिस इज योर होस्ट राजीव इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट सो अब टू डेज स्टोरीज द टेल ऑफ टोम थम सो लेट स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम इन द डेज ऑफ गुड किंग आर्थर देर लिव ए कंट्री मैन एंड हिज वाइफ हु दो दे हैड प्लेंटी टू ईट एंड टू ड्रिंक एंड ए वेरी कंफर्टेबल कॉटेज टू लिव इन वर नॉट एट ऑल हैप्पी they had no children and they both wished very much for a baby the wife was often in tears when her husband was out at work and she was all alone because she had not an infant to take care of and nurse one day as she sat weeping by herself more than usually sad she said aloud If I only had a dear little baby I should not care but it was like I should be thankful for one if it were no bigger than my husband's thumb Now it happened that the queen of the fairies was passing by though the poor woman could not see her and she knew the farmer's wife was kind to the poor and likely to be a good mother she thought she would grant her wish so about an hour or two afterwards the woman was much surprised to see standing by the table a very beautiful lady dressed splendidly with a glittering star on her forehead and a wand in her right hand with a gem of great brilliancy at the top of it but what delighted the woman most of all was a tiny cradle made of a walnut shell lined with velvet in which lay the prettiest baby ever seen but it was only just as large as a man's thumb see said the fairy your wish is granted here is a baby for you take care of it it is your baby own baby the woman did not know how to thank the fairy enough she was so delighted and the queen went away quite pleased at having given so much happiness before the fairy went away However she gave the woman a little shirt of spider's web and a doublet of thistle down for the baby When the farmer came home he was very much pleased He invited all his friends to the christening and the child was named Tom after him and Tom because he was no bigger than one The baby was very well and merry and grew of course but still it was very small however at last tom thought himself quite a great boy and begged his mother to make him a little suit suit of clothes and she made him one what with a great deal of trouble they were so small tom was very often in mischief he was so small that his mother used to put him on the table to play and once she found him in the salt box one day she was making a plum pudding and tom stood by the side of the basin and peeped over the edge what he could not see into it very well and while his mother was gone for some more floor he drew himself up on the edge of the basin alas he fell in and this appeared in the wet pudding which for poor tom was a huge moras tom would have cried out what the pudding stuck his lips together and his mother not missing him stirred him up in the mixture and put it and him into the pot tom no sooner felt the hot water 
then he danced about like mad the woman was nearly frightened out of her wits to see the pudding come out of the pot and jump about and she was glad to give it to a tinker who was passing that way the tinker took the pudding and put it into a cloth to carry it home to his family who sat down tasted such a good dish but by and by as he was climbing over a stile he happened to squeeze it and tom who had made quite an arc over his own head in the dry pudding by this time cried out from the middle of it hello pickens which so terrified the tinker that he let the pudding drop in the field and scampered off as fast as he could the pudding fell to pieces in the fall and tom creeping out bent home to his mother whom he found in great trouble because she could not find him after this accident tom's mother never let him stay near her whistle so near her while she was cooking what she was obliged to take him with her when she went out milking for she dared not trust the little man in the house alone a few days after his escape from the pudding tom went with his mother into the fields to milk the cows and for fear he should be blown away by the wind she tied him to a thistle with a small piece of thread very soon after a cow ate up the thistle and swallowed tom thumb his mother was in sad grief again but tom scratched and kicked in the cow's throat till she was glad to throw him out of her mouth again and he was not at all hurt what his mother became very anxious about her small son who now gave her a great deal of trouble sometimes he fell into the milk pail and was nearly drowned in the milk once he was nearly killed by an angry chicken and another time had a narrow escape from a cat one day tom went plowing with his father who gave him a whip made of a wearly straw to drive the oxen with what an eagle flying by catch him up in his beak and carried him to the top of a great giant's castle and dropped him on the leads the giant was walking on the battlements and thought at first that it was a foreign word which lay at his feet what soon seeing that it was a small man he picked tom up with his finger and thumb and put the poor little creature into his great mouth but the little boy scratched the roof of the giant's mouth and with his great tongue and held on by his teeth till the orj in a passion took him out again and threw him over into the sea which ran beneath the castle walls here a very large fish swallowed him up directly tom did not at all like swimming about in the fish but by and by he felt it drawn upwards and guessed at once that it was catch and so it was and begin a very large fish the fisherman thought it would make a good present for his beloved king arthur so he took it to the palace and begged the king to accept it the poor man's affection and ordered the fish to be carried to the kitchen and cooked for his own dinner the fisherman took it to the cook who admired it very much but said it was very heavy then he laid it on a table and began to cut it open you may imagine how he jumped with fear and wonder when tom tom slipped out of the fish the cook's cries brought the other servants and soon everybody near ran to behold this wonder the tinny man was came out of the fish tom begged for some water to wash himself 
and when he was clean the courtiers thought him so pretty and such a marvel that they ran to tell the king about him arthur was very much surprised what he desired them to send the little man up after dinner to see him and the court tailor made haste at once to get ready a court suit for tom which did not take him long to make there were so few stitches in it as soon as the king's great bunch bowl was set on the royal table tom thumb was carried to see the monarch who was delighted with the little man tom walked on the king's hand and danced on the queen's he became a great favorite with arthur who made him a knight such was the wonderful history of tom thumb who did much good when he grew older and thus proved the that however small people are they may be of use in the world he was good and kind to his parents and to everybody and the old valet says such were such were his deeds and noble actors in arthur's court there shone as like in all the world beside was hardly seen or unknown so this was our beautiful story if you like this then please subscribe our channel thank you for watching